Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, July 13th through the 19th, 2020. I did try to record your reading yesterday, but Mercury retrograde happened, so you know what that means. Um, I feel like of all the signs that I recorded for over this past week for next week, uh, for these weekly readings, um, you guys had the, uh, I had a the most trouble recording. So I did sub I had about seven minutes done and then I found out that it wasn't recording and that was because of the memory on my phone. So yeah, I wish I could remember the messages that I got there, but I, I kind of got the feeling that you guys were going through something um, that was affecting your energy because um, I was getting a lot of energy zap going on. And I think I got that for you last week, too. So I kind of felt like it was an energy zap going on. And, of course, we just had the eclipse um, and the Mercury retrograde. So I feel like you guys being a water sign, um, you may be absorbing, you know, the collective energies. And that's maybe contributing to uh, an energy zap type of feeling. So if you're bit, if you've been feeling tired, like if you've been feeling like you need to rest, or you've been lacking inspiration, or you've had like a creative block, please know that I am also picking that up for you as well, just as a confirmation. Now beyond that, um, I don't remember all the cards that came out, um, and I kind of got the feeling that you guys were just not ready for your reading when I was going to do it yesterday. So. We're gonna try again today, and I'm hoping that it goes better this time. So yeah, so Pisces, this is your weekly forecast for July 13th through the 19th. You can watch this reading if you are a Pisces sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces on the house cusp. If you have your sun in the 12th house, or Venus in Pisces, watch this reading. I'm using the, uh, this is the Modern Witch Tarot deck today for your reading. We're going to look at six cards for the week ahead. Pisces, how do you see yourself today? What is the theme for you over the next week, July 13th through the 19th? What is something Pisces has already learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week? A challenge they may be facing, a lesson they are learning now, and a gift they will receive. For all my beautiful Pisces out there that may be watching, Pisces, Sun, and Moons, and Risings, Pisces on the house cusp, those with their sun in the 12th house, or Venus and Pisces. Okay, I'm getting the number three. So body, mind, spirit, the Holy Trinity. So you're coming into alignment. Um, I feel like this has a lot to do with who you are, um, your values, what you believe in. Um, very nice energy. I can already feel like this is going so much better today. So I feel like whatever you guys were going through, maybe yesterday or the day before, I feel like the energies have definitely shifted and cleared. One more here for Pisces, July 13th through the 19th, please. want to thank you guys for watching. If you like getting these weekly readings in your feed, um, just like, subscribe, comment. It really does help out the channel and help me out. Um, also, I am going in order of views from last week. So if you want to get yours, if, if you are interested in getting your sign out sooner, um, definitely watching uh, the videos helps. So watching these readings helps. The bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. So you may be dealing with a female fire sign. I'm getting Leo here, uh, or this is you. Let's see, underneath that we have the Hierophant. So I'm definitely getting Leo here. Some of you are um, 12th house uh, Leos watching. Others of you could be Leos that have a, a sun, moon, or rising and Pisces or the exact opposite, you're a Pisces with the Leo moon or Leo rising, right? So I really like this energy for you. I'm seeing someone who's very creative, vivacious, sexy, uh, yes, attracting the opposite sex. Um, some of you are entrepreneurs or have your own businesses. Um, others of you are feeling very creative. Um, you're a great manager of resources. Um, others of you are teachers or leaders in the community. You have um, uh, 
uh, you know, people really value your opinion. They come to you for help and advice. I feel like um, a lot of, many of you are setting excellent examples um, just through your leadership, um, through your vision, um, just being just by being who you are. So that's really nice to see. How you see yourself today, Pisces, and we have the Ace of Wands. So actually, uh, this card did come up when I tried to record for you yesterday, but it was reversed. So that's what I was saying is I feel like um, something changed with the energy here. So I do feel like you're, you're getting your mojo back. Um, this is that spark of creativity, that spark of inspiration. Um, this is also the first deacon of Aries. So some of you could also have definitely have Aries in your chart or be dealing with an Aries. Um, this is also, uh, it's pure energy. It's pure, pure excitement. It's also grasping that wand here, that wand of inspiration. So it's kind of saying that you've been given a divine gift and this could be of creativity, of a new idea, of um, wanting to start something again. It's also the gift of being able to revive and rejuvenate your relationships, your own energy, replenish your own energy. Okay, so that's very nice. Your, the theme for you over the next week is the Nine of Swords. Okay, so it looks like um, there's something here plaguing your mind. This could be stress, anxiety, worry. Um, this is also a Gemini energy. So if some of you are dealing with uh, an air sign here. Um, I feel like mostly the the worries and the and the and the stress and anxiety probably comes at night. Um, so it's a good time to kind of examine your night routine, make sure you guys are getting enough sleep. This can also just be like uh, repetitive thinking, anxiety, negative thoughts. Um, uh, so you want to kind of ex you know get that under control as much as possible. As I always say, worrying is a very unproductive emotion. So if there's um, if there's a counselor or a therapist or, or someone that can help you process those thoughts by the light of day, obviously we don't want you to have nightmares and that kind of thing. So it just looks like you're mostly just worried about something here and maybe letting it get to you a little bit more than you should. Um, something Pisces has already learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week and we have the world in reverse. Okay, so... This is usually that feeling of being overwhelmed or over or burdened by something. Um, this can also be here that you have unfinished business with someone or something, or you lack closure with regards to a situation. You also may be dealing with, uh, you were dealing with the fixed signs, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus, or you have those in your chart. Um, so something here was very overwhelming for you. You also may have been clinging to a past success, a past victory. You were unable to close out a chapter here. Um, this is also telling me that maybe there were some unresolved issues. There's unresolved uh, plans or thinking that's coming up again for you this week. So if there's anything that you haven't closed out in terms of um, business, relationships, um, psychologically, um, this is a good week to start addressing that uh, stuff. Uh, you don't want to push it away. You want to deal with it by the light of day. The challenge you'll be facing this week is the Five of Swords in reverse. So this tells me that um, there's already been some sort of nasty conflict here or there, or there was a fight or... There was a situation here where um, there was a disagreement. Uh, it was mainly just people's egos getting in the way, as we've been seeing since Gemini season and even prior to that. And now that we're going into Leo season, um, it's it's still going on. I've seen it in a lot of readings. So here, this is the time after conflict. It's where we can, you know, the dust has settled and we can kind of mediate. We can see where we went wrong. Where did the other person go wrong? What could we have done better? Um, so your challenge this week is to perhaps close out something here where there were no winners, there was only defeat, there was only a feeling of loss. And to understand and maybe even make amends, I'm not saying this was you, we do have the first deacon of Aquarius here, so it's possible you were dealing with an Aquarian or an air sign. I'm definitely seeing Gemini and Aquarius here. 
Okay, I feel like people walked away here. There was no, there was no discussion or no communication afterwards, or there was just a feeling of being uh, defeated here. So that is going to be a challenge for you this week. Um, now, sometimes when I see this card, it truly does represent a loss or a defeat, and which produce no winners, in which uh, we, uh, someone here felt that they won, maybe it was a, an argument or discussion, but at the end of the day, uh, we may have actually lost a, a friend here, or we lost a companion, or we lost a relationship. And that's really sad because uh, the best thing that could happen is definitely a learning, uh, learning a lesson here, or, or potentially getting some closure or or making a, a amends. So the lesson that you are learning now is the Eight of Swords. Okay. Again, we have Gemini coming up here. So maybe you're a Pisces and it's Gemini, or you're dealing with a Gemini. The lesson you're learning, uh, uh, I feel, Pisces, is, um, you know, this is about being a victim or feeling stuck or feeling like there's nothing you can do. And I'll be honest with you, and a lot of you may not want to hear that, but I've done countless readings for other people, thousands of readings for people, as for myself. Um, and uh, this is about... Uh, Similar to the Nine of Swords, it's a progression. What happens when we choose to do nothing? What happens when we stay stuck in our head? What happens when we feel like there's we're the victim and there's um, there's nothing we can do and there's no way out? Um, I mean, she's quite literally blindfolded and tied and bound here, so uh, she may feel like she there's nothing she can do and that it's uh, she's the victim. But at the end of the day, um, we know that what really what the problem truly is here unless this person is incarcerated uh, and truly doesn't have any power is that uh, the power the feeling of being powerless the feeling of being a victim really comes from not being able to identify the problem for what it is or see the problem for what it is so that we can remove the blindfold and walk away freely um, and it may be that the person you're dealing with is choosing to do nothing is choosing not to see the problem is choosing to remain a victim, is choosing to stay where they are in their own negative thoughts. But again, if that is the case, then Pisces, um, there's someone here who's doing a lot of worrying, a lot of humming and hawing, a lot of freaking out in their mind at night or by the light of day because um, of this type of situation, which I will say the word abuse did come to mind, whether it's verbal, psychological, emotional, it's, you've got this beautiful energy here to start something new. Um, and um, I don't know, I, I've, I'm also getting the feeling here that if you need to walk away from a situation, um, walk away, get the closure that you need, whether that's giving yourself the closure or coming to the table, but letting this kind of energy persist in your life is not going to be healthy in the long run. So the gift you will receive, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you have someone here who is either going to be very loyal to you or is offering you a stable position. This could also just be work, um, but I'm getting that this is the gift of stability, um, long-term security of uh you know it's kind of like the tortoise and the hare well this is like the tortoise it's slow and steady wins the race so it seems like you do have an earth sign here it could be a virgo a taurus or capricorn who is very loyal uh they want to stay the course with you um if this is you i feel like this is a grounding energy coming in that is saying look pisces we can get through this, but we need to ground the energy and we need to take it step by step, day by day, whether that's just um, slowing things down, um, working through the problem little by little, um, getting out of our head, um, starting a new position or doing some kind of work that's more methodical, more slow. Um, something like that is what's coming through for me. But I do feel like 
Uh, your gift is one of stability. Your gift is one of, um, I'm definitely, this can indicate some sort of financial security here or a job or a position that uh, you can do for a very long time. So that looks positive and yeah, I just got, I'm going to close the reading out here, Pisces, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I wish you guys the best. If you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, my information is below in the description. Have a great week.